little, I used to believe in fairy tales. I believed one day I would meet my Prince Charming, who would sail off into the sunset and live happily ever after. And then I grew up and learned that life is hard, it's messy and complicated. The biggest lesson I've learned is that in life you have to fight for what you want. And there's no one on this earth I'd rather fight for than you. Aliza, the first time I laid eyes on you, you were getting your luggage out of your car, the blue Prius and Jones at Rice <laughs> on August 5th, 2014. And at that moment, I knew I was about to meet someone special. Our love withstands our flaws, our imperfections, and our shortcomings because we cherish the good in each other. We have created a foundation of love, respect, and trust that our marriage will grow from. Home is no longer four walls and a roof. Home to me is whenever I'm wrapped in your arms. So tomorrow, tomorrow begins the beautiful marriage of two very special people who are all loved by all of us. And this crazy thing called love is the reason we're all here. I remember like it was yesterday, you fighting with your little brother and me putting y'all outside on those hot summer Texas days. Or uh, that phone call every now and then from your mom because you're driving her nuts at the grocery store. And here we are today, all grown up and about to marry the love of your life. Eliza is one of the most laid back, down for anything, tender hearted individuals. She and I have always balanced each other out well. <laughs> and I am proud to call this lovely lady my best friend. Eliza has probably one of the greatest heart I've met. She is a remarkable person, caring, selfless. I've had the greatest pleasure of meeting her. The greatest pleasure her coming to my life. But Trevor and Eliza really do complement each other and that is compliment with an E and not with an I. Um, it's not just that the two when combined together average the height of a normal person, but they are each other's yin and yang which brings them special peace and balance. My brother has been an amazing part of my life and if there's one adjective I would use to describe him it's consistency. No matter what, or where I was in my life, or where he was, or what we had going on, I knew the next time we saw each other, it, it would pick up right where we left off, and it'd be like nothing changed. Trevor, you and your brother are my best friends, always have been. I love that huge heart of yours. You keep that forever. Couldn't be more proud of the wonderful man you, you've grown up to be. I love you. Is infectious how much you two love each other and I know that you will continue to get better at loving each other every single day. Some days you may improve a little, some days you'll improve a lot, and there will be some days where you feel like you're not improving at all. But on those days, especially those days, as long as you learn and you listen, whether that's a little or a lot, you will no doubt be the best husband, wife, and individual that you can be. And I know that everyone in this room dreams nothing more of than a lifetime of happiness for you both. But more than that, for us, it was a wonderful sign that in many ways love does conquer all. Because it did not matter that one of the partners was a metropolitan East Coaster and the other was a smaller town Texan. Okay? When they heart said yes, those labels got thrown out the window. And these two wonderful people showed us that it just doesn't matter, those labels and biases. That when we open ourselves up to each other, we can see and share so much of what binds us as people and as a community. And I personally want to thank these two for showing me that light.
love is lost and love is found It gets you high then pulls you down It brings you to your knees Then comes and sweeps you off your feet Well, here you are, Eliza. The person I've prayed for since so very long ago. You are the sweet, beautiful, wonderful answer to my prayers. And you are the person who will be Trevor's soulmate, partner, and friend as the two of you continue the love story that was created just for you. You are a blessing to us all, Eliza. And I am so grateful for your love for my son. I love you. And after I got over the shock that someone as beautiful and amazing and kind as Elise would ever date my brother, I got to watch the relationship grow. And I got to see that they were really serious and it was truly a match made in heaven. To these two sprinters by nature, it's important to always bear in mind that the race ahead is a marathon. Make time and prioritize each other because a happy couple makes for a happy family. And always keep each other laughing. I promise to give you my love throughout all the changes in our lives. I promise to respect, admire, and appreciate you for who you are, and as well as for the person you wish to become. I promise to help you grow and bring out the best in you. I promise to keep our lives exciting, adventurous, and full of passion. I vow to respect and support your dreams and ambitions, to support you through misfortune, and to celebrate your triumphs. I promise to persevere when times get tough, knowing that any challenges we might face, we will conquer them together. From this day forward, I am proud to call you my wife and my best friend. From this day forward, I am proud to call you my husband and best friend. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to present to you for the very first time as husband and wife, Trevor and Eliza, and let's go Rangers. Not because I have to, but because I want to. I promise to walk with you hand in hand. As your biggest fan, your shoulder to lean on, and your best friend. The past seven years have brought me the most joy I could possibly imagine. And while we have gone through challenging times together, I could not imagine going through those times with anyone else. You're my person, Eliza. And I'm so incredibly lucky to have the privilege of making you my wife. I'll forever get to have my best friend by my side as I walk through life, and although I may not be the most socially outgoing individual in the world, nor do I typically enjoy any form of attention, today I do not mind the attention because today I'm recognized as the guy who gets to marry the most beautiful, amazing, intelligent, and selfless woman in the world. If everyone could please raise your glass, and cheers to the marriage of Trevor and Eliza. When either of you put your mind to something, you get it done and you don't skip a beat. I know your love will last lifetimes and you'll continue to grow your library of memories and life experiences that are possible because you fell in love and believed in one another. Here's to you both, Trevor and Eliza. 
May your beautiful love story continue with many, many more chapters to come. And may you both live happily ever after. Better than the fairy tales I used to read as a little girl. It's real and perfectly imperfect. I love you now and forever, Trevor. I can't wait to finally call you my husband. From this day forward, Eliza, I pledge to always date you. I pledge to not become complacent in our relationship. I'll always work to make you happy. And most importantly, Eliza, I pledge to be your heater. But seriously, I love you with all of my heart, Eliza Rose, and I cannot wait for what the rest of life has in store for us. Thank you.